Hi guys, Mrs. Novello here. We're going to talk about bubble letters. So you're all going to have a piece of lined paper or a paper with a designated section that you're going to draw within and use a pencil. When you're using a pencil, please, please draw light. You're going to be doing a lot of erasing here and you don't want to see the lines. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate two ways. One way is bubble letters that are separated and one where the bubble letters are connected. So when you're first starting off, the key to writing bubble letters is to write your letters with a little space in between. You don't want to scrunch them together. So make sure that your letters are neat and the right size. Then what you're going to do is outline your letters with a line. Going all the way around the letter. And when you're finished with that, you're going to erase the interior line. So that's why drawing light is important. Okay, so we have our first bubble letter. Do you see the thickness in the S? In order to keep your composition balanced, we want the same thickness around the A and the D. So I'm going around the A, the tail, and then back around the top and then I erase the small tail. Then I'm going to go around the D, maintaining that same thickness. All right, so that's how you get started with bubble letters that are not connected. When you want letters that are closer together and connected, then what you'll do is you'll write them a little bit more closer together. All right, so same concept. You're going to outline your letters, but because they're closer together, you may not be able to follow through completely with your outline. So the S is starting off great. I'm erasing that interior line, getting my thickness. Now when I go outside of the A, I have to stop and not pass through the S. Do my tail, go around, erase that tail. Then for the D, the D is really going to intercept the A. And I make, might make this tail a little, or the top of the D a little bit taller, so it's obvious that it's a D and then erase. Now I might go ahead and erase um, some connecting lines here so it's a little bit more fluid. That's a personal preference if you want to erase those or not to see what it looks like truly connected or you may want to keep them if you feel like that establishes the letters more clearly. Up to you. So that's how you make bubble letters that are connected and not connected.